Hi guys, it's Karen. I am still continuing to try to make um, Christmas dresses for my stock blides. This is um, French Trench. I got her used without her stock a couple years ago. Um, I think she's super cute if you've never seen her before. She did have her earrings that she came with, like that are actually stocked, but that was it. That was the only thing she had. Oh, and her panties. Um, she did not come with her stock. And she has this short, um, dirty blonde hair, which I think is so pretty. It's very dry, though, um, but it's in good shape. It is this. I, I really loved the look of her, uh, and I had to have her. So, again, but I bought her a couple years ago used. I don't know if I got her off of Facebook or if I got her online somewhere like um, Mercari or eBay. I'm not, I don't remember. Um, but yes, yeah, she's just adorable. So she has green facing sideways eyes, pink, blue, and orange. Keep her on green for the holiday. This is, uh, so I was, I'm too frustrated with the other pattern. Again, there's nothing, the pattern's fine. I'm just, I'm not, I don't know. I, um, Miris, Mirisuri, Mirisuri, I forget her, um, I don't know how to, I forget the exact spelling. She's um, a lovely YouTuber who has a doll channel. Um, she suggested I try some stitch by stitch with Lily patterns. <clears throat> and I've been following Stitch by Stitch with Lily for like a couple years since she started her channel, but I don't think I've actually tried any of her patterns. So I thought, you know what, I will do that. And this is a Stitch by Stitch by Lily or with Lily. Stitch by Stitch with Lily pattern. It is the Easter Bunny outfit video. And I did not make it as an Easter outfit. And it comes with the hat too, but I was only choosing to make the dress. And I did not add the pocket. So, oh, and also, so what's, she does not include a cuff for the sleeve. The sleeve is like a bell shape at the bottom. And in the video, she had um, gathered it to be more straight and added uh, lace on top. That is not included in here. Um, it seems like you would just gather it to be the same width as you gather up top. You would gather it equally and then you would... Uh, hold it so the the lace in place I don't even think she cuffed it she just had the lace around the top or you could put make a cuff I thought it might be pretty belled out but I wanted to see what that looked like so that is what we have here I did not um, I just left them to bell open which I think is really cute now this fabric it also it has a collar I chose to make it the same and I was going to sew some tiny buttons here <laughs> I have some tiny buttons I got from AliExpress and I have since lost them and I am too lazy to get up and get my beads and try to find a color that I want to make some beaded buttons, which I could do. But guys, as you know, I'm always too lazy to even put the clasp on the back. I just pin it because I really hate sewing on snaps and um, yeah, since these are just for me and like if I was sending it to somebody, I would put the... I would definitely put the snap on, but I usually just don't bother. Um, I'll get around to it someday or not. Anyway, I think it turned out really cute. Um, I did make the skirt a little bit narrower because the Easter Bunny dress has, um, you can make a tulle underskirt. So I actually use the dimensions of the all-in-one um, pattern that I was using this. So I used the skirt length. They were the same height, I believe. Yeah, but they were different. Like this one would have been, the one that uh, Stitch by Stitch with Lily is um, bigger and more gathered. So you can put a, a, you can put a skirt under there, a petticoat under there and make it more voluminous. But I wanted something a little more um, close fitting. Now, what I have to say, this fabric, I have some, um, so what I'm saying is if you did not, you need to download this pattern. She has uh, the link on all of her videos to her patterns, which are on Google Drive, uh, accessible to everybody. 
it's a really good pattern and it turned out ridiculously cute and I am going to be making this in other fabrics for 100% sure. Um, what I wanted to say about this fabric is it is, I got this for like, I don't know, a couple years ago, a few years, three, four, four years ago, something at a Goodwill for like 99 cents. And um, I actually like it because it's less thin, even though it said what the fabric was. Let's see, I have this fabric here. It's, uh, here I have the, the uh, remnant on the side. It was this fabric. Um, Beth, designed by Beth Ann Brusk, Bruski for David Textiles Incorporated. Um, it's a thinner, it's not like, it's nice and densely woven, but it's a thinner cotton. I mean, you can't see through it or anything, you know, but it's a thinner cotton than the Christmas cottons I got at Joann's. It's a thinner weight and I really like it much better for sewing with, um, because it doesn't get as, it's just, it drapes nicer and, um, it doesn't, um, it doesn't bulk as much under the, so these, <clears throat> these skirts are the same. These skirts are the same. Um, sorry. These skirts are the same length of gathered, but this one is a lot bulkier under here than this one because this, thin, this fabric is thinner. So I'm going to, I know that like on AliExpress, a lot of people say, oh, or on Amazon, because they're probably selling a bunch of ch uh, Chinese fabrics, you know? They're like, oh, um, it was pretty, but it's really, it's thin. And I'm like, thin? That sounds great for my doll clothes. So I'm going to be trying to, um, while I like the quilting cottons and all that, I'm not going to stop buying those. I'm going to be making more of a concerted effort next year to buy thinner um, weight fabrics for doll clothes for smaller dolls because it just is a lot easier. Um, anyway, so I was planning on, now that I've, Oh, I want to tell you guys one more thing. Here, though, is the problem with um, getting Goodwill or secondhand fabrics. When I was pulling on the sleeve after I got it on to uh, not pull, you know, I was trying to set the, set the seam because I don't, I usually press seam seams. I don't have like an iron. I have an iron and I have an ironing board, but they are inaccessible to me at this moment. Um... I don't use, I don't, I just press my seams. Usually like, like you would like pressing a fold of paper with a bone folder. I usually do that. And I use a lot, you know, I'll use like this or a, um, a marker or the curved side of something like a bone folder as I crease my seams. Um, since I don't really want to have to go drag out my iron, it's a, you know, it's a full size sewing, like, or full size garment iron, iron and a full size ironing board. And yeah, that's not, I don't have any room for that kind of stuff in here right now. So, um, so anyway, back to my problem. Um, I was pulling on that and there must've been some kind of a slight hole and it like started to tear and I wanted to, oh, it started to tear and, um, you know, kind of like how jeans start to fray right before they you know, do. And I was like, no. Um, so I put fray check on top of it, which is really unfortunate, but I did not want a hole in it. And I had just spent the entire afternoon yesterday doing the bodice and the entire afternoon today doing the lower part and the finishing work. And I was not, oh, and I also had to redo half of this, this because my collar had slipped when I was turning it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, but it worked out well. It looks really, really super cute. And I am probably going to do Suri. Suri is still waiting for her Christmas dress. Let's see. I need a Christmas dress for... It would be cute if this had like a... I'm jumping ahead again. If this had like some trim, like a, a gold or green ribbon here maybe. Um, to make it even more Christmassy. But it's... To me, it looks Christmas. She can get away with that for Christmas. Um, so the other stock dolls that need their dresses. It, Suri needs one. Gorgeous, gorgeous Suri. I have washed her hair. I got the grease out and I went ahead and put it in braids. Her hair will be very um, 
wavy when those come out. It was still slightly damp when I put her braids in. So that is going to be super cute. So Suri needs her dress. And um, this is Alexis Emerald. She needs her dress. And we have this girl. I forget what her name is. I forget. I have to look her up again. Um, this poor girl, she has her faceplate got it darkened. So her face has a tan and the rest of her is lighter. I know there's like methods to try to get that lightened, but for now, um, gosh, I forget what her name is. I'll have to look up again. I'll have to look her up. Um, so this I call, I call her Frenchie. I usually call my stock girls by their names. So I call French Trench Frenchie, Surrey, Alexis, and then whatever her name was. And then, and then Odette over there. Um, those are my stock girls. So, oh, nope. I lost, I forgot my dear, my darling little sailor. Um, I'm keeping her in this dress, even though I'm unhappy with it, but it's, it still looks cute on her. You can't tell unless you look close. And I put her little hair in, I put her cute um, shoulder length bob in pigtails and she looks so cute. Sailor. So these are my stock girls, plus Odette right here. Plus Odette. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six stock girls. And the only ones I bought new were Sailor, Surrey, and Odette. The other three, Alexis, Frenchie, and then this girl, she's a very, she's an older one. I can't remember what her name is. Yeah, I'll have to look her up. She, um, these were all bought used. So anyway, without their stock. So I have how many dresses? Two more Christmas dresses to go. Uh, I have a plaid and Surrey's green dot, green polka dot. So I'll get those done by Christmas. And if I have time before Christmas, I might try to give some dresses to my um, my fakies. So, um, but, oh, and the other thing I wanted to say is that I, I it took me so long. Well, it always takes me way longer than I think it's going to take, but... I did end up hand sewing this, um, just like stitch by stitch with Lily. And it worked, it was really easy. It was really, uh, you know, it was great if you're a hand sewer. I mean, she designs it for hand sewing. You And it worked out beautifully, I, I think. And the only other thing I wanna, sh I wanna do here in this video is, um, God, Frenchie is so pretty. I had to have her when I saw her, I was like, oh my God. Her hair is just so dry though. I just love her. She's just so different from a lot of them. You know, she's very unique looking with the way her hair is and stuff. Okay, I am going to take this off really quick because I do want to see what it looks like on an A-zone body, a fakey body. Um, because, you know, that's what um, Stitch by Stitch with Lily, her Lily has. So let's grab... Um, oh... Where is, where's Cassie? Where do you go, Cassie? Here she is. She is not wearing anything, so this will be good. Let's grab Cassie. And let's see how the Stitch by Stitch by with Lily pattern fits on this girl. Um, yish. So I think I am going to make this dress for Surrey in the green. I'm going to do this, this dress pattern again. And I think maybe do some kind of an, an A-line dress out of the plaid, the different plaid I have. Okay, so obviously this fits her very nicely as well. This was made for this body. This pattern was designed for this body. Let's get our, let's get a pin and throw that in there really quick. Um, I hope I don't pinch you, Cassie. There we go. All right, that's good enough. So, as you can see, it fits these guys beautifully. So if you have an A-zone Blythe, um, and I was and I was curious, it, it is longer. Um, the sleeves are a little bit long on Frenchie, on the stock body, but because they were designed for... Um, this A-zone girl, they fit her, the arm length is perfect, right? So, but you know, you could always hem this slightly shorter for your A-zone. And I, it fits really nicely on both girls. Um, 
So I do recommend this pattern. I hope you guys try it out. I will link down below which one it is. And um, tomorrow we'll start another dress. I am going to probably hand sew that as well. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I have enough fabric that I can try it over if I ruin it with my machine because it's just so cranky. You guys have a nice day and um, let me know in the comments below if you have... If A, you are subscribed to Stitch by Stitch with Lily, and B, if you have tried any of her patterns, and if so, which one? And I will talk to you guys soon. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see my other girls get their Christmas dresses. Bye!